Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you guys are good. Today we're gonna to be talking about some accessories for the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. Now, these are the ones that I've been using currently on my iPhone 12 Pro, which happens to be in that gorgeous blue. And once my iPhone 12 Pro Max comes in this Friday, I'm gonna do a follow-up video with some accessories for that particular model. I'm gonna leave links to everything talked about in the video in the description if you feel like checking them out and picking up anything I mention or talk about. Uh, plus for up-to-date pricing, make sure to check the description. All right, let's go ahead and dive straight into this beginning with some cases from Kadabi. Now, Kadabi has been a supporter of the channel for a while. They sponsored this video. However, they have great cases. I stand by their cases. I've been using their cases ever since like the iPhone, I don't know, iPhone 6. I mean, I've been using them for a while. They make really thin cases, very protective cases. They have several different models, but the ones we're gonna talk about in this video are the sheath and Lucid Clear. So the sheath comes in a few different colors. I got the black here, I got the navy, and I got sea green. And then this is the Lucid Clear, which is in the crystal color. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the sea green, give you a quick rundown of the case. You see that's what the sea green looks like. I wish it matched the blue a little bit more, but I guess that's what the navy is for. So that's the sea green, looks really good. Let's go ahead and pop out the navy. And I really like the navy. I think it's a good contrast with the blue iPhone. You can see it's not the same exact blue, but once you put it on, it has really good contrast because it's like a lighter blue with the darker blue. So you can see it right here. See the contrast right there. Looks really good. And of course, black is going to be, like I said, classic. It's always going to look good. No matter what color iPhone you have, this black model is definitely going to be pretty neutral and um, go with any color. Let's go ahead and pop it on here. So there you go, that's what the black looks like. So let me tell you a little bit about the sheath and what makes it different than maybe some of the other cases that you're more familiar with on the market. The sheath offers great drop protection while not adding a bunch of bulk to your phone. It's manufactured using something called Shock Light, which is a proprietary shock absorbing polymer. It has a micro etch texture on the backside to enhance grip, and it provides a really nice but subtle matte finish. The sheath will protect your phone from drops up to six and a half feet. It has a raised lip on the front for screen protection, and it also supports wireless charging, including MagSafe. So I got the MagSafe charger right here. I can just snap it right on the back, and you can see it's not falling off or anything like that. Now it's not as strong of a magnetic connection as like Apple's cases or having no case at all, but it will do the trick, and once it's lined up, it's not going anywhere, so that's definitely a plus. It also has a raised lip around the camera area, so it's gonna protect all of your optics and stuff like that. Onto the Lucid Clear, this is gonna be more of your traditional snap on the back hard style case that's transparent, so you can see all of that beautiful iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro goodness. Uh, you can see it right here. And this is a really nice case. Like I do like snap on the back style hard cases like this, and I definitely like the transparency of this case because, you know, this year, Apple decided that they were gonna bring back that iPhone 5 and 5S design, which is personally my favorite iPhone design, and showing off this backside is definitely a major go in my book, so to put it on, it just snaps right on. I would start with the volume side first, just put that in, and just snap it on, just like that. Accidentally turned on the flashlight. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the clear style case right here. It looks really good. It's not gonna yellow or anything like that because it is hard plastic versus like a TPU material. It gives you a raised lip around the camera, just like the sheath. You get a small raise on the front, so it's gonna give you some screen protection. And the buttons, instead of having covers over the buttons, they're exposed, which a lot of people do like that. I'm a fan of it, because I like the feel of these buttons in the side of the iPhone. Uh, the mute toggle switch is exposed as well. But this is a really nice case. You can see the ports and everything on the bottom are perfectly cut out, and you have little slits in the corners right here for easily taking off the case and putting it back on. And if you're wondering, Lucid Clear also supports MagSafe and wireless charging. So MagSafe charger, as long as you line it up correctly, it's not going anywhere. Like I said in the beginning, if you're interested in pricing on any of these cases, make sure to click the link in the description because I don't wanna give you the price today and then tomorrow that price changes. Moving right along, we have the tempered glass screen protector that I'm currently using and it's from Whitestone Dome. However, it's different than your traditional Whitestone Dome screen protectors. So in the past, if you're familiar with Whitestone Dome, they have a very tedious, 
tricky, unique installation process that involves UV lights and it's almost like a, like an episode from Breaking Bad. However, due to the flat display of the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro, they're able to do away with that tricky, tedious install process and make it more traditional. And this is the Easy Glass from Whitestone Dome. So I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these up. We'll open up one for the iPhone 12 Pro Max here. And I'll show you, there's nothing weird about the materials in here. So we have an alignment tray here that just snaps right onto your phone like so. Keep in mind, this is for the 12 Pro Max, not the 12 Pro, that's why it's so big. And then you just take the glass and you put it onto your phone. I mean, the, the alignment tray is going to help keep the glass in line. So you get a perfect install every time. You have some dust stickers, you have a microfiber towel. But what's great is even though the install process is much, much more simple, they didn't cut back on the quality. So you're still getting that awesome oleophobic coating. You're still getting that 9H hardness. You're getting excellent touchscreen sensitivity. And it's not edge to edge, but it's enough. So it goes all the way to where the actual display portion of the screen ends. So it doesn't cover the small edge here, but still it's enough. It's gonna give you great screen protection. And it's not as expensive as other Whitestone Dome screen protectors. So you're able to get it for less money, still same great protection, easier install. In my book, that's a win. I'm sure I'm gonna get a few comments down below saying, what about the ceramic coating? It's stronger glass. You don't even need a screen protector. And for those people, you're lying. Stop lying because the glass on the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Mini, 12 Pro Max is just as sensitive to scratches as all the previous models. And if you don't want any micro scratches and you wanna keep your display looking fresh, cop yourself a screen protector, trust me. <laughs> Next up, we have a few accessories from Peak Design. If you're not familiar with Peak Design, they make a lot of really awesome camera accessories and backpacks, tripods. A lot of really good stuff comes from the Peak Design manufacturing headquarters. Let me just put it that way. And these are new smartphone accessories that they decided to get into that I have to say I'm really excited about and I can't wait to see where they go in the future. Now. I've been using these, and even though these are not the final design per se, these are review units, I really am impressed and I can't wait to see what else they bring to the market when it comes to this little ecosystem that they have created. So this is the actual case that Peak Design has created. This one's for the iPhone 11 Pro, so it's not going to fit on the iPhone 12 Pro, unfortunately, but they do have cases for the iPhone 12 series that will come out at a later point. So let me just go ahead and show you the case real quick just to show you how minimal it is and what to expect. And if you don't wanna buy this case, you don't have to. I'm gonna show you what you can do instead here in a minute. So this is the case. It's really nice, it's thin. And this little area right here is the main point of this entire case ecosystem. Uh, this is where you're gonna be able to attach different accessories that will help you get the most out of your phone when it comes to exploring different ways to be creative with your phone or you know mounting your phone. Uh, but the case is very minimal. It looks good, it feels good, has a great texture to it, but unfortunately, it just doesn't fit my iPhone uh, 12 Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side and I'm gonna show you what you can do instead. So this is the universal adapter. This can be placed on any case and it uses 3M. So this is the adapter here and I'm just going to take my Kadabi sheath case here and I'm going to put this universal adapter on my phone. Let's go ahead and snap it on right here. So just like that. Now I can mount all of these Peak Design accessories to my phone. Now, unfortunately, this is going to take away from whatever case you're using's ability to use MagSafe and possibly wireless charging. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few of the accessories that you can mount to your phone once you got it all set up. So this is the bike mount, which is really cool because I just got a new bike, review coming soon. You're not gonna wanna miss it. It's a really cool bike. And this just snaps right to your handlebars. Right here, you can see. And this just snaps right on to your phone just like so. So once you got your phone attached to the bike mount, it can sit propped up and now you have a full view of 
whatever it is on your phone, whether or not your, your GPS is going, you wanna switch songs, respond to a message, check whatever notification you might have received. And it's nice and secure, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. And then whenever you're done with it, you just squeeze these two buttons right here and pop your phone off, and that's that. So that's the bike mount. Now we have a car mount as well. So we'll go ahead and take it out, and I'll show you how that works. It's pretty much the same as the bike mount. However, it's going to attach to your dash or to your vent or middle console, wherever you want to put it. You can see you just pull back the 3M adhesive right here, stick it to your dash, and that's that. And then this just snaps onto your phone like so. And then you can angle it to get it in the position that you want because it's like a ball joint. And then when you're done, you just pop it off. Freaking magnets. So yeah, that's the car mount. Then we have the wall mount, which is really neat. So if you work in maybe a garage, say you do a lot of automotive repairs and stuff like that, and you wanna be able to mount your phone you know, to a wall or whatnot, you can do that with the wall mount here. So you would take one side, pull back to 3M, attach this to the wall, and then you have another one right here that you can attach to a different wall. And then when you wanna mount your phone to the wall, just like so. And then it's gonna hold itself up on the wall. You don't have to worry about your phone falling or anything like that. I mean, hell, you could probably put one of these in the shower if you really can't be without your phone. So just boom, on the shower door, on the shower wall, watching some YouTube videos while you're getting squeaky clean, you could do that. And uh, last but not least, we have my favorite Peak Design accessory for this ecosystem, and that's the mobile tripod. This thing is dope. So this is the mobile tripod. And you just snap it right on the back of your phone, just like so. And then you can pull it down and look at that. You get a little portable tripod. It props it up. The legs can come down like so. I mean, it's so convenient. And if you don't wanna record in portrait, just put it in landscape like that, flip the legs all the way to the front and boom, there you go. Like I said, it, it's the convenience factor. I really like where Peak Design is going with this entire accessory ecosystem, the ease of use. They're taking away anything that's complex about attaching various accessories to your phone. And uh, they're really embracing MagSafe, which I'm a fan of. So uh, yeah, that's a quick look at uh, some of these Peak Design accessories that are gonna be dropping in the future. So make sure to give Peak Design a follow on Instagram if you wanna stay up to date about the release of all this stuff, as well as anything they add to the ecosystem, because I know they just unveiled like two new um, accessories for this mounting system. And one of them is a wallet that also doubles as a tripod. It looks really good. Another cool thing is the tripod comes with this little carrying pouch. You just slide the tripod in, seal it up. That way it doesn't get banged around or break anything inside your bag or your pocket. So it's just super convenient. So staying on that trend of magnets and focusing on the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro camera, we have the new DJI Osmo Mobile 4, and this thing is awesome. Now it's very similar to the Mobile 3, but obviously it's in a different color. It's like a lighter shade of gray, and it has a few extra features, including magnetic attachments. So, I mean, it just doesn't get any easier than that. Now there is another mount that you can mount directly to your phone with 3M, so you don't even have to worry about, you know, trying to clasp this over your phone or anything like that, it would just snap right onto the gimbal. However, if you have multiple phones and want to use this universally, you're gonna wanna use this mount. So you just take this and then you put it on your phone as center as possible. And you follow the prompt right here that says the phone camera needs to be in this direction and pointed that way. So you just take your phone and mount it on like so, and then just attach this to the gimbal. Now we'll Extend the tripod, bring this up, bring this around, and we'll go ahead and turn on the gimbal. And boom, so we are ready to gimbal. Now we have controls for our different modes here on the gimbal itself. We have a record button, we have a zoom button, we can pan, we can tilt, and we have a trigger that will lock the gimbal. So what's new with the Osmo Mobile 4 other than the magnetic attachment and the color? Well, you have three new modes. You have Panorama Clone Me, which will take a panoramic photo, but it gives you time to get into each frame. And when it stitches everything together, it clones you, just like the name implies. 
Then there's dynamic zoom, which is effectively a digital dolly zoom effect. It allows you to move away from your subject while the DJI MIMO app automatically zooms in or move in as the app spins out. Alfred Hitchcock used a lot of dolly zooms in his movies to really make fear and drama stand out. You can also catch dolly zooms in movies like Jaws. The next feature is the spin out mode or the spin mode, which is effectively the inception mode that we've come to either love or hate. It's really nice to see that it is in the DJI MIMO app and it's on the Osmo Mobile 4, um, but it is a mode that can get played out very quick. So just be mindful when you're using it. Also, the new Osmo Mobile 4 does support more weight and it has stronger motors. So you don't have to try to balance your phone, just snap it in and go. So it just makes everything a little bit more convenient and a little bit more user friendly, giving people the ability to get more stable footage, whether you're doing it for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, or just creating vlogs for yourself. Having a gimbal like this is definitely nice and something that I recommend. The last thing I wanna talk about is something for mobile gaming. I mean, what's an accessory roundup without some type of gaming controller? And for this video, it's a little bit tricky because I have the Razer Kishi controller right here, but this is the USB-C version, so it's only for Android devices, unfortunately, and I'm waiting on my iOS version to come in. But until then, I have this little adapter from Moga, and this just snaps onto like an Xbox controller. As long as you have a Bluetooth enabled Xbox controller, you can connect it to your iPhone and get your game on. This thing is really cheap. It's like 20 bucks, maybe even less. And it just snaps right on to your controller like this. Let me show you. So it just snaps right onto your controller like so. Then you get it into the angle that you want. Tighten these little screws down and then put your phone in it, tighten these screws down, and that's it. So now you can use your Xbox controller with your iPhone to get your game on. Um, and this is gonna have to do until I get the iOS version of the Razer Kishi, because this is a really, really awesome controller. But like I said, unfortunately, I only have the USB-C one, and this is specifically for Xbox Game Pass as well, but it will work with Android games. Um, so hopefully the iOS one, when it comes in, it'll be just as good as this one. I'm really looking forward to it. But as I said, for now, this little $20 or $15 attachment will definitely do. So if you want like a budget option, this little MOGA attachment is the way to go if you're into mobile gaming. Unfortunately, the new iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Mini, 12 Pro Max, none of them have like 120 hertz display. So um, gaming's not gonna be as good on the iPhone as it is on something like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra or um, other Android flagships that are out on the market. But nonetheless, if you're into the iOS ecosystem and you're into mobile gaming, this is definitely something that I highly recommend that you invest in. You really can't go wrong with the gaming controller. I mean, it's, that's just a fact. All right, so that does it for this video. Hopefully there was something in this accessory roundup that you found interesting and maybe you are considering picking up. If you wanna see a full review on anything that I mentioned, let me know down in the comment section. Also, let me know some of the accessories that you recommend for the iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Mini, 12 Pro Max. There's just too many iPhones this year. And make sure to stay tuned for my iPhone 12 Pro Max and iPhone 12 mini coverage because I will be getting both models this Friday. I have a few other accessory roundup videos that are gonna be dropping this week, so make sure to stay tuned. I appreciate all of you for watching this video and your continued support. If you enjoyed this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll catch you fine people in the next one.